Hey guys, this is Galen at ECU Master USA, and today we're going to take a look at our 10 bar pressure sensor. With each of our sensor kits, you're going to get the sensor that you ordered, the connector, seals, terminals, and thread sealant. And you'll also find on the front of each package the QR code that'll link you directly to any pertinent sensor information you might need. The first thing you'll notice on the back of this package is that the pinout for the sensors is actually the same. Pin 1 being your sensor ground, Pin 2, the 5 volt supply to the sensor, and Pin 3 is the sensor signal that goes to the analog input of your EMU. Next, the tools we're going to use for this are a pair of flush cuts, wire strippers, and a high quality crimp frame designed for the terminals you're working with. There's going to be a link in the description for all of these tools so you can use exactly the same stuff we're using. Let's start by taking our flush cuts and derailing the terminals from the metal strip that they're attached to. I'm going to take the flush side towards the terminal, snip, and repeat. Now we include an extra in all of these kits in case a, a mistake happens, and trust me, they happen. So hopefully we'll only need these three that I'm using right now. For the wire color, we use blue for our five volt reference. We're going to use white for sensor signal that goes to the analog input of the EMU. And then we're going to use black for sensor ground. So before we strip these wires, we're going to take the weather seals and put the wires through so that we don't have copper strands stabbing us in the fingers as we work later. This prevents fraying at the end of the copper. And also make sure that you do it before you terminate the wire into the terminal itself. It is a real pain in the neck to have to redo stuff after uh, you've already crimped the terminal onto the wire. Next, then we're gonna grab our strip tool. And I wanna show you guys the strip length here is set to the minimum value on the stripper uh, to allow for consistent exposed copper at the end of each of these wires. One. Let's take our crimp frame and load a terminal in and get it ready to crimp and deconductor into. You'll notice that this crimp frame has an automatic positioner here with a gate that's spring loaded. So as you insert the terminal, you push on the gate, opens the gate, closes on the terminal, and now it's positively located inside of the crimp frame so it can't rotate around or give you any funny business as you go to crimp this on. We're going to slide the conductor all the way forward, leaving the copper exposed. We're going to insert and then crimp slowly. There you go. Successfully terminated a wire into this GT150. Let's take our package and look at the back side for our sensor pinout. So we'll start with position one, which is our sensor ground. That is this hole here. Insert the terminal in until it clicks. Nice positive location there. Next we'll go to pin assignment two, which is our five volt supply to the sensor. And again, and last but not least is our sensor output, or sensor signal. That goes to the analog input of our EMU device. So now that you have these clipped in and they're locked, you're going to take this gray tab and press it till it closes. And now the tabs cannot come up. And that's how you wire the three position sensor. So now that we've wired our 10 bar pressure sensor into our EMU Black, we're going to go into our EMU Black client software and make sure that this is calibrated properly to work for our sensor. We're going to start with our configuration window and ensure that the units displayed are in metric our sensors are sold as metric sensors, so we're going to do the calibration and the scaling in the metric values. Next, go into sensor setup, and we're going to select pressure. We're going to go to the sensor wizard, and we're going to click down, and you'll see that we have a predefined setting for our 10 bar pressure sensor. And now we're going to select the parameter that we're going to assign this to. So we're going to assign it to oil pressure calibration and you'll see the minimum voltage here for the sensor is 0.5 volts. 
at a pressure reading of zero bar, the maximum voltage at 4.5 volts with a maximum pressure of 10 bar. I'm gonna hit okay, and we'll go to our oil pressure cal table. And now you can see that we have a linear scale from zero to 10 bar over 0.5 volts to 4.5 volts. Now that this is correct, we're gonna make permanent in the table, and this will write this calibration to our EMU black. Now that we finish this, we're gonna go and verify that this is working properly. So now that we have our 10 bar pressure sensor calibrated in our software, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we're connected to our EMU black device. This is indicated by the connection status here in the lower left corner, indicated by the connected symbol and the green highlighted box. So let's move our calibration window out of the way. And we're gonna open up our graph log and our analog inputs. Next, we're gonna plug the sensor in so you can see the change in pressure and the spike in voltage. Here, you'll notice that this signal is a little dirty as we plug the sensor in, but that's okay, because that shows that it's working. The resting voltage will show 0.49 volts, which indicates zero pressure or zero bar at the sensor. Now that you verified that your sensor is working, continue working in your EMU first start checklist to finish setting up this device for your project. Thanks for watching.